Today's topic is about the Crystal programming language. It's a language that has a syntax similar to Ruby, but is compiled and boasts remarkable speed. If you like Ruby, you will probably love Crystal. Let's not waste any time and let's get started right away. Crystal launched in 2014. It's a statically typed compiled language with Ruby-like syntax. While it's not as widely known as some languages, it has a growing community and a lot of potential. It utilizes LLVM as a backend for generating efficient native code. Crystal employs a combination of global type inference and conventional static type checking to offer flexibility and safety. It supports a wide range of programming paradigms including object-oriented, procedural and concurrent programming styles. The language also offers macro support for metaprogramming. In Crystal functions are declared using the def keyword, followed by the function name, parameters and the return type. For example, take the following function. In this example, the method add takes two parameters of type in32 and returns their sum, which is also of type in32. Crystal's type system ensures type safety, enhancing code reliability. Additionally, you can define functions with variable argument using the star syntax, enabling flexibility in parameter count. Understanding how functions work in Crystal is crucial for effective code organization and modular development. Crystal supports a rich set of data types. Key data types include the following. In32, float64, char, bool. Apart from that, we have various composite types as race, tuples, hashes, and strings. If this is not enough, Crystal can also use structs, C census regards, and classes. These examples illustrate the diverse range of data types available in Crystal and how they can be used in real-world scenarios. Crystal supports various control structures to manage the flow of a program. Let's explore the primary control structures available in Crystal. Let's take for example conditions. Here we have if statements, unless, as well as switch case statements. With regard to loops, Crystal knows while, as well as until, or each. Apart from that, you can also break, skip iterations and return as shown in the following. Understanding when and how to use each control structure is crucial for writing clean, efficient and maintainable code. To initiate a new project in Crystal, you can use the Crystal init command followed by the project name. This will create a new directory with a specified project name containing the basic structure for a Crystal project. Here is the step-by-step -step guide. Open your terminal or command prompt. Navigate to the directory where you want to create your new Crystal project. The crystal init command sets up a basic project structure with a source directory where your crystal source files will reside, the spec directory for tests, and the shards YAML for managing dependencies. After running crystal init, you can start adding your crystal source files, define dependencies in the shards YAML file, and develop your project further. In this specific example, let me add a library to the project for generating random UUIDs. I will add the dependency to the YAML file and afterwards run shards install in order to retrieve the respective code from the library. Afterwards, I can run the require statement from the main file in order to import the respective library I just installed. Crystal shines compared to Ruby in speed thanks to its compiled nature, static typing, efficient garbage collection and C++ interoperability. This leads to faster execution especially in tasks like calculations and string manipulations. While Ruby offers quicker development due to its dynamic nature, Crystal delivers significant performance gains for projects demanding speed and efficiency. Let's take for example the following Fibonacci recursion example. Once run in Crystal without compiling, then in a compiled version, and afterwards the exact same code running in Ruby. We definitely see a difference with regard to speed. Crystal is a relatively new programming language that combines the high-level expressiveness of Ruby with the performance benefits of a compiled language. 
While it's still a young project, it's worth exploring due to its promising features such as static typing, native code compilation, and concurrency support. Although I don't foresee it replacing Ruby in the near future, its going development and performance improvements make it a language worth absorbing and it holds potential for broader adoption in the long run. So if you liked the video, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Until then, keep coding and cheers.